Hey everybody, this is yours truly, Marie Aqua 924, and I know I'm a little sick, but, but I want to get a chance to do all my videos before, because I know it's a few more weeks, a couple more weeks before the season finale of American Idol about who's going to be the winner, so, let's see, for this one, I'll be top, this would be about the top 12, let's see, the theme here was year, the year that they were born, um, Mostly they're just singing songs from around the time they were born. So, first one is Naima. She sang What's Love Got to Do With It from Tina Turner. Um, oh, let's see. And this is a new thing I'm going to do for this video. Um, I'll be also talk, let's see, telling you when they were born. That way, yeah. So, for Naima, she was born... October 5th, 1984, and again, the song that she's going to do is What's Love Got to Do with it from Tina Turner, um, so far it's pretty good, um, doing Tina Turner songs is a pretty hard because, like, no one can be like Tina Turner because, again, it's, Tina Turner is, like, the most incredible singer, but for, for Naima's performance, um, it was not that bad, the vocals were alright, it just didn't feel exciting for me. Let's see, and Randy had a good point that, let's see, that her vocals were kind of a mess, because he's right about one thing, because like, the vocals were a little out of place, because like, it wasn't really synchronizing with the song, so yeah, it just... It was just like, okay, between, it was pretty good and okay. So, yeah. Next was Paul. He sang, I guess that's why they call the blues from Elton John. Let's see, the year he was born, oh, I should have done this first. Um, well, let me rephrase it. Um, Paul was born August 29th, 1984. Thank God someone, like, never mind. <laughs> See, again, the song he's going to do is, I guess, that's, that's why they call the blues from Elton John. Uh, it was okay. Like, so far, the performance was okay. But it was kind of cute the way Jayla was singing along with the song. Again, I thought it was okay. And, and I didn't notice that he was getting sick. Um, but he made it through the performance. But I just thought it was okay. And let's See, and I like the fact that Jayla mentioned that that so overcame his cold, and cause I'm guessing like for the before, even though he was sick, he was able to overcome it. So yeah, next was Thea. She sang "Colors of the Wind" from Vanessa Williams. I keep doing it. So like, and for Thea, she was born. January 30th, 1995. Um, I never thought she would chose a Disney song. So far, I like it. The vocals were per pretty good. Um, I liked it. That was a cute and pretty performance. Let's see, but one thing that I kind of disagree on is that Randy mentioned that it was so safe and was so boring. I'm like, it was not boring, because, yes, the song choice was a little, a little poor there, but, but I thought she did a pretty good job. And, Jayla mispronounced the word, and you wonder what that was, um, that she questions her bravado, and it's actually pronounced vibrato. So, yeah. But I thought it was a cute performance. I liked it. Next was James. Let's see. He was, I think I'm doing this in order. Um, he was born January 6th, 1989. Um, he sang I'll Be There For You from Bon Jovi. I like the fact he chose a Bon Jovi song because it suits him. It's more rock and I know his genre is more rock. And every, every time he impresses me, he is amazing, and I love his performance so, 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 so much. And, and for Steven Tyler, he, 
he curses too much on the show. <laughs> All the judges loved it, and he did an, an incredible job with it. Great job, James. I'm proud of you. Next was Haley. She sang I'm Your Baby Tonight from Whitney Houston. Uh, damn it. And also, Haley was born around September 9th, 1990. Um, she doesn't know Whitney Houston song. Uh, it's a gut, because... Whitney Houston is a tough singer to imitate here. Like, for Haley's performance, I so far it was pretty good. The patches were okay, so were the vocals. But I just thought it was a pretty good performance. Let's see. Like, there was like mixed reviews from. Um, J Lo, Randy, and Steven. Um, J Lo mentioned that it's like she's that Haley's a bit stiff and she's not trying to force anything. Randy mentioned that it's like I like how she, how he says this that it's time to find out what type of music that she performs best. And Steven mentioned that she wants he wants more blues from her. So like they're kind of mixed about it, but I thought it was between okay and it was pretty good. Next was Stefano. He sang If You Don't Know Don't Move Back. The first thing, uh, he was born February 27th, 1989. Um, now I get a chance to say it. Um, if You Don't Know Me By Now by Simply Red. Um, like, the vocals were pretty good. When I saw him, like, he almost looked like, he almost looked like, like um, David Archuleta a little bit. Um, like, I always loved his vocals so much. The long vocals were incredible. I, I say it was the best performance from Stefano that night, and I loved it. And also, and like, like, wow, is Randy trying to copy him, copy me a little bit? But he also said that it was the best performance of the night, and I totally agree. Great job, Stefano. Next was Pia. She sang "Where, Where Do Broken Hearts Go" from Whitney Houston. Like again, another Whitney Houston song. And Pia was born on October fourteenth, nineteen eighty-eight. Like. Finally, somewhere around my year, because I was born around, around 1982, like, before Pia, because I was born around August 1988. Um, let's see, for Pia's performance, like, they also showed a quick footage of when Pia was little, and she was singing Whitney Houston, um, what was that song? Oh, yeah, I Will Always Love You. It was, it was so cute, and, like, damn, when she was little, she got talent. And for Pia, she still amazes me. <clears throat> and one of the best singers in the competition. Like, whenever, the, for her vocals, they give me goosebumps because it shows how incredible her voice is. Again, another amazing performance. She's amazing as always. And Randy mentioned that Pia's in the competition to win it. And like, like, I agree. I agree she would win the whole thing. When Randy mentioned that, that it kind of reminds me when, I think it was what, season three, when how every week Fantasia does well with her performances. And it was almost like a um, similarity with, between Pia and Fantasia. So yeah, that's just what I think. And Pia... You did a great job. Next was Scotty. He sang Can I Trust You With My Heart from Travis Tritt. And he Scotty was born around October 9th, 1993. Um, I thought it was pretty good. He's always choosing country songs, which I can understand why, because it's, it's his genre for his voice and personality. But I feel he should choose, he should choose different songs from different genres that could be out of his area. 
But the vocals were, were amazing. I liked it. And of course the judges liked it too. So yeah. <laughs> Next was my favorite in the whole world. Karen. Um, she was born March 22nd, 1989. She sang Level Will Lead You Back from Taylor Dane. Um, like, the vocals were amazing. I think it was one of the best performances. I know the other, let's see, from the top 13, she said, let's see, she said I could probably look a love from Selena. Um, so I know she was a bit shaky, but for this performance for Love well, Level Will Lead You Back, I, I would say it was one of the best performances. And also singing... Parts of the song is Spanish. Again, I love it how she does that. Just like how she did from her hero performance from the top 14. Uh, I'm sorry, from the top 24 performance. And I thought it was pretty good. And I like the fact that JLo applauds Karen for attacking her fear. I like that. Next was Casey. He sings Smells Like Teen Spirit from Nirvana. Like, and also he, he, Casey was born around February 12th, 1991. Um, and again, Smells Like Teen, teen Spirit, one of the most popular performance, uh, top popular songs from Nirvana. Um, it just doesn't suit Casey here, because when I heard he was going to do that song, my instincts were that he was not going to do really good. The pictures were not good at all, and the rock side I seen from Casey, it was not that great, and I didn't like the performance at all, and I just thought he would have done better than that song. I mean, there was a lot of great songs from 1991, but I wish he would have chose a different song, so sorry, I didn't like it. And Randy mentioned that it was not his best performance, and I, and I agree, so sorry, Casey, I didn't like it. Next was Lauren. She sang, I'm the only one from Mel Melissa Etheridge. Um, and also, Lauren was born uh, November 8th, 1994. And I didn't know she was sick because it feels like everyone, some of the contestants were getting sick for that week. So, like, even though she was sick, she did a pretty good performance. The vocals were so was were good so far. It was a pretty good performance. It just didn't feel excited for me. But again, I decided it was a pretty good performance. And also, it was kind of a little funny, though, that Randy mentioned that it was a really nice performance, and also he said that Lauren should have a cold every week. And I like the fact that Steven mentioned that, that he call, calls her a shining star. And I, and I agree. Last but not least was Jacob. He sang Alone from Heart, and he was born on June 23rd, 1987. And singing a song from Heart. Hard, that's a hard band to sing. Like the vocals were pretty good, the pitches were all over, all over the place, and I just it was like a blend of it was pretty good and it was an okay performance. But I like the fact that Jail compliments um, Jacob for giving. Even his all in every performance that he does. And let's see. Oh, yeah. And that's it. And I'll be talking about the results here. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. And for the top 12 performing together, they did a blend of Born to be Wild from Stephen Wolf and Born This Way, Lady Gaga. Um, but the boys, um, they did a pretty good job of it. Casey did it to rock on the on the song because I understand why. Because Stephen Wolf is more rock, 
And for the girls, they did an amazing job for Lady Gaga. And it was kind of funny though, they showed a quick footage of... Like, what most people don't know about the contestants. But to make it short, that it was funny though how Karen did funny voices with her voice. Even if she, like, under her tongue, like, like oh my god, it was so funny. <laughs> And these are the contestants that that they were safe. Lauren, Jacob, Casey. Let's see. Paul, Thea, Stefano, James, and Pia. So that means the bottom three were Haley, Naima, and they mentioned this, Karen. I was like, what? Not again. Ay, so, we'll see how it goes. Um, and also, the perform let's see, the guest performers for, let's see, during the results night, um, first was Lita Wise, um, he sang Beautiful Like You, uh, he was a pretty good singer from season 9, because I kind of expected that Crystal Barrowstock would have would have won, but the song was pretty good. Let's see, the other guest performance was Black Eyed Peas. Oh my God, they did the most amazing performance, and I like the fact that they dedicated the song to to Japan, and I like that. That was so sweet. And for Fergie, she is gorgeous, and the song was so cool. I loved it. Oh yeah, and also getting back to talking about the bottom three here. Um, let's see, one of the girls is safe, so I'll just say it. The girl that's safe is Naima. I was like, yes, she's safe. So it was down between Haley and Karen. I was like, oh god, please, Karen has to stay. And get ready for this. The girl, the person that's gonna leave is Karen. I was like, ah. So that means uh, they got Haley safe, but let's see. And the judges still have their safe. Um. They were giving Karen a chance to sing, so Karen decided to sing Hero for Mariah Carey, and I hope that would save her. But for Karen's performance, uh, some of her notes were a bit off, because I can understand why she was nervous and she wanted to, sing, to stay. But again, I love how she does a bilingual version of Hero for between English and Spanish. But unfortunately sadly she's going home. So yeah, like I hope things go and best of wishes for Karen because she's my favorite. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, so... So yeah, that's pretty much it, so... This is Marine Aqua, 924, so... See ya!